Hello Javas, this is a screencast to accompany exercise 2. We are in module 1, Java Language Essentials, and we are on exercise 2, commenting. This is not a boring topic. This is a critical topic. Remember, not only will you be reading your code in the future, but other human beings will be reading your code. And the purpose of comments is to provide the reader enough information to interpret what your code is supposed to do. This helps with editing, this helps with using the code to add to other projects. It's often the case that we write code and we can interact with that code to accomplish the same task but for a different project. There are two types of comments that we want to be familiar with using. The first is the simplest and that is a single line comment. We use two forward slashes to indicate to the compiler that everything following those forward slashes should be ignored. It's not Java code, it's English. The convention in Java is to comment what a line does before the line, not after. If it's a very short comment, we can comment at the end of a line. So in this case, we want to make sure that we always have a comment before our class, because the class is the base unit in Java and we want to make sure that the readers understand why we're writing this class in the first place. So we are um, following these steps. I'm actually going to comment a different class than I use in this exercise so that you can practice commenting as much as possible. So we're going to be commenting the registration class which we created in exercise one. I can change for your information the size of the font in NetBeans editor by going to options and then fonts and colors. This is the syntax section and I'm going to up my size to 36 so you can see it and it's clear. Alright, so that's really big. Look how nice that is. So we are commenting public class registration and so we can do a multi-line comment and in fact we can do a super special comment in front of classes. So we can, if we want to comment multiple lines, we do one forward slash and then an asterisk or a star. Now if I hit enter after typing these two, the editor knows that at some point we're going to end this comment. So it includes a star forward slash to signal that everything in between here is a comment. So I have a multi-line comment. Now this is handy for writing longer descriptions of what classes do. I'm going to teach you a little hint that I didn't mention in the actual guide for exercise two, and that is if we're commenting before a class, we can do a super special comment, which is forward slash star star if we're in front of a class or a method, and now when I hit enter, it will include what's called an annotation tag that allows me to include in information about the author, which is me. Now my computer's name is Dolores, so it defaults to using the computer name. I'm going to change that to my name. Eric C. Darso is the author. And then I'm going to describe in a sentence or two, doesn't have to be long, why I'm writing this class. So this is a uh, simulation class for a uh, project management exercise. Now notice we need to insert our own line breaks for comments. Generally speaking, we don't want to have more than 80 characters wide in any of our code because that's a standard width for displaying code. So I've told the reader what the class does. Now I can jump into the class. Notice that blocks of code open and close with a curly brace. So before I even comment inside here, I'm going to jump down to the closing curly brace for my outermost block, that means the class, and I'm going to do my single line comment to signal to me that this closing curly brace ends the class. So I can say close class. I can even include the name, but that's not necessary. The reason for this is often we open the class at the top of a file and then we might have a bunch of lines and when we get to the end we want to make sure we can keep all of our curly braces sorted out so I can label that right away I encourage you to get in that practice of doing that with every single class you write 
Now I'm inside the class and I have methods. Methods are blocks of code, meaning blocks open and close with a curly brace that do something. They uh, are usually named as an action word. In this case, in order to run anything in a class, we need to tell the compiler where to start. And that is using the main method. So I'm going to be explicit with my comments and say this main method contains the core output of this program. So the thing main does is prints two messages to the console. Now I'm inside main and this is a little excessive because a reader would know that system.out.println is sending text to the console but I can say that explicitly here. So we can say uh, calls print line method to send text to the console. So that's the idea of comments. Go ahead and comment the four classes that you made for exercise one and uh, that will be uh, send you on your way to having readable code. I'm going to close my comment here for main. Close main method. And there we have it. And notice I can save this with a control S and I can run it with a shift F6 and even though I have filled this class with comments none of it shows up in the output because comments are for humans not compilers.